about a week ago, we told you about a predatory sex offender living right behind a Beaverton Elementary School. Now we're talking to that man. His name is Joseph Hull. That's as concerned parents plan a neighborhood meeting tonight about him. We found out Hull is living at a house on Maryland Place, which borders Vos Elementary School. Our Amy Frazier has more. Parents who live in this area tell me they're feeling pretty anxious knowing there's a predatory sex offender living right behind this elementary school. So today, I took their concerns to Joseph Hall. Listen closely. It's the sound of children playing at nearby Vos Elementary School. I went to speak with registered predatory sex offender Joseph Hall, who's legally living behind the school in a group home. Okay, so there are some neighbors that have some concerns. According to Oregon's sex offender registry, in 1986, Hall was convicted of felony sex abuse involving a child under the age of 12. He has served his time, but he's not allowed to be in places where children gather. Are you concerned that you might reoffend? No. What's different now compared to then? I just, um, I don't put myself in that position. I'm not supposed to be around kids, and I realize that. And I'm in a, that's why I'm here, is we don't have kids here. But you have kids, lots of kids, hundreds of kids, right behind this home. Well, that's over there, and I avoid that completely. Victoria Taves and Kelly Shiraz Lunsford both live nearby and have 12 year old daughters. You know, as parents, we do everything we can to keep our children safe, and we know that there are things that are out of our control. And yet, they've learned there's no law in Oregon that prevents Hull from living near a school. My concern is that since the state has deemed him a predator and likely to reoffend, that we are leaving some of our most vulnerable citizens, our children who are going to school there, uh, right next to a predator. So now they're holding a neighborhood meeting to discuss safety. And perhaps share some ideas around how to elevate this to our legislature so we can enact change at that level. Joseph Hull is scheduled to be in Multnomah County Court on May 8th, accused of failing to register as a sex offender. We'll keep you posted on any new developments in his case. Reporting in Beaverton, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News.